Hey everyone! So I am back. Got freaking this hair. Where is it? Right? It's driving me nuts. <laughs> okay. Um, now that I have eaten and my mom is gone with my son, um, and then I smoke another bowl. <coughs> Excuse me. I can focus on what I was talking about and talk freely and not feel like she's like listening to me from upstairs. I don't know. Again, she'll see this video. And, oh, mom, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to talk shit about you. I'm not trying to make you look like a bad person, but I'm just trying to get out what's going on. Anyways, um, okay. So basically, yeah, I was trying to talk to my mom about everything that I'm going through, all the stress that I'm going through trying to take care of my son by myself and like I feel like they're basically they always go out and like the door needs to be closed because Braylon um gets into the toilet so I always have to be the one to open the door and give the dog water or he wants outside so I have to let him outside and my mom thinks like oh you know this is really driving me nuts my mom thinks, oh, you know, he's good for, like, five hours. But I'm like, he's an old dog. Like, he needs to go outside. It's not really, like, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I just don't feel like it's okay for you to leave an old dog. Like, it's pretty much dying. Like, gonna die. Um, he probably has a, a year to le left to live. And she leaves him for, like, five hours at a time to go biking. So, obviously, I'm like, well, he's staring at me to go outside. So, obviously, I let him out because I feel bad. He's staring at me. I'm like, does he need to pee really bad? It's annoying that it seems like they can just go out and go out and go out and go out and leave me to watch their dog. And then her, her argue will always be like, well, you know, yeah, it doesn't, Bradley doesn't need as much care as Braylon does. Well, yeah, I get it because he's a dog. He doesn't need as much care as Braylon does. That's not the point. That is not the point that I'm trying to make. You're making me feel like I'm responsible of your dog because you're never really here to let him out when he needs to go outside. On top of that, they consistently forget about him. I don't know if it's my stepdad or both of them, my mom and my stepdad, forgetting about him being outside. <sighs> There's him always eating my son's snacks. Like, I'm trying to give my son some Cheerios and... He only eats one at a time. He doesn't sit down and, like, eat the Cheerios. Not really. So, I put them in a little bowl and put them on the couch. And, well, the dog eats them, which drives me nuts. Because, he, well, he eats them. And I'm like, they're meant for the, my son. And, yeah, I've gotten the freaking containers with the actual lids on it. So that you can just, the kid can stick your hand in. I think that either the dog has been taking it off and chewing it to shreds. Or my son has. One or the other, if they have been. So, I'm like, that doesn't really do anything anyway. So, usually I leave some snacks on the counter or whatever, so, like, he can reach them, but the dog can't. That really fucking... Okay, I'm just gonna try to ignore that. Anyways, um... I, so, I already got way distracted. Okay, so, yes, I was talking to my mom about all the stress that I was going under. I asking for her help. I got way over... Overloaded. I'll admit this. I'll admit this. I got way overloaded. I started having a BPD disorder. A borderline personality disorder like um episode okay i was just really overwhelmed in my feelings and yes i'll admit i swiped my hand across the the side of the fridge knocking down all the magnets and all the pictures that were there because i'm just so so tired of trying so like really hard to be heard from my mother and her like belittling everything and making it seem like it's no big deal and just brushing me off and making me feel unvalidated like all my shit isn't important and like she says to me oh well i had my time with you and your sister and then she says that i i'm worse i was i'm worse than my son taking care of me was worse than my than taking care of my son now okay it sounds kind of wrong because like well, my son is autistic, right? And me, I just, I have BPD. The things I did as a kid, they weren't like, well, they weren't because I was autistic. They were because I had BPD. They might also, I have epilepsy as well. 
I haven't had a seizure in a long time. That's a whole other story for a different day about what's going on with that. My doctor, that's non-existent at the moment, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, yes, I do have epilepsy. And the doctors told me that I threw a lamp around the room when I was a little kid. And I used to take my sister's pictures off the fridge and I would tear them in half. And that apparently could have been mild, um... Uh, seizures apparently or it could have been my BPD I think it's my BPD more so that sounds more accurate when I was little they didn't know what it was um anyways so the, the fact that she says that I, I was worse than Braylon and I'm like well he's not he's not worse in the sense that like he's purposely getting into trouble but I mean for taking care of him she didn't have to she didn't have to spoon feed me Everything she said, yeah, I did. Yeah, I had to spoon feed you everything till you were like five or something like that. So you had to blend up everything like I do for him. You had you couldn't feed me solids at all, even though I'm pretty sure there's pictures of me eating solids like bananas and stuff like that. I can't get him to eat a banana. I can't get him to do that. I can't get him to eat strawberries. I can't get him like I'll put it in those soother netting thingies that you can get from Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mart, I think. And he'll eat those, no problem, but he won't eat, a, like, a strawberry on its own. I've tried, I've tried eggs a bunch of times. I'm not saying I've given up. I want to keep trying with getting him to eat solid foods. It's just, I don't think she really understands how hard it actually is to raise an autistic kid by myself pretty well. She thinks that, oh, she's like, oh, well, no, raising two. And I get two kids compared to one autistic kid. Yeah, okay, that could equal out. But sh we went to my dad's every other weekend. His, my, my baby daddy is not in the picture whatsoever. And that's another story I can talk about. If people want me to talk about what went on with me and my baby dad, I will talk about it. Um, but I don't have, the, the father isn't in the picture. She was getting money from my dad, from, for, for me and my sister. I'm not getting that. I don't even know how to start any of that. I can't, I keep asking. I asked my mom because she's the one who's gone through it. She hasn't helped me. I've asked people. No one has helped me. I'm like, someone give me a link. Someone give me a little bit of instructions on how to start serving him so I can get some money from him. Like, what do I do? I, I, I don't understand what to do. I have no idea. My only idea is to go to a lawyer and ask them, like, what do I do? And I can't afford a lawyer. And I don't want them to start trying to bill me. But I'm like, I need help. I don't know where to begin. So he doesn't have a dad in the picture whatsoever. Nothing. He hasn't, he wasn't there when he was born. He hasn't asked for pictures of him. I tried reaching out to him during COVID many times, sending him pictures. He didn't really care. He made it up excuses like, I don't want to give my son COVID for like the whole time that we had COVID. I mean, I get it. I understand where he's coming from, but you could have... You could have um, isolated for two weeks like everyone was doing. Make sure you d don't have COVID. And then you could have at least come and see him through the window. He could have at least come and visit him through the fucking window. He could have. I don't know what his excuses were. Apparently that he was in fucking in rehab. But again, that's I'm trying not to get into that story. That's a whole other story for a different time. So my mom... Like, me and my sister went to my dad's every other weekend. I would kill for that. I would kill for my son to be able to go to his dad's every other weekend. So I had that weekend to myself. The only times I get are the times that my mom will give me, which is basically under 24 hours. And that's usually when I go to my man's house. That's the only place I have right now to go to to escape. I have all these friends at work that say that they're like, yeah, you can come hang out with me and like come smoke weed with me. And I try to message them and like they don't reply back. So, I mean, this is why you can't trust dancers at clubs because they say they're friends with you and they're really not. And now my man is trying to call me. Okay, anyways, um, I don't have to end this video. Of course, him calling me made me lose my train of thought. Oh, me going to his house is my, my only way of escaping. And I don't usually ever get to go to his place until, like, 4. Um, and it takes me two hours to get there by bus because he lives kind of far away. 
um, and it's normally like an only f maybe 50 minute drive depending if there's traffic but still it takes me like two two and a half hours to get there um, so then that knocks off even more of my time to relax and then we pretty much go to bed because we get tired we're both parents so we get tired really easily and early so we probably go to bed like recently we've been going to bed earlier like 12 ish instead of like well, it used to be like 4 or 5 a.m. Um, that's because we were doing drugs. I'll admit that. Yeah, we were doing drugs. I'll openly admit that. And I've gotten away from that. That's partly why I've been... I went from a drug addiction to a shopping addiction. And to me, I mean, going from a drug addiction to a shopping addiction is probably way, way better. It's still not good, but I'm... At least I'm, I'm not really spending money on stupid things. Like, I, I buy mugs so that when I move, I actually have appliances and, and cups and spoons and stuff like that. And for when I move. I'm trying to prepare for when I do eventually get to move. Anyways, I'm so, I get so, so attracted with everything. <sighs> okay, so, um, anyways, basically that whole episode happened. I didn't even get to the finish of that, that part. So this whole episode happened, this BPD episode, I was losing control of my emotions. I admit that. My mom was trying to call 911. I did not want her calling 911 she was trying to call for an ambulance i'm like i don't need an ambulance right now you're not helping me like i don't i don't need an ambulance right now i know it may have sounded like i needed am in an ambulance but i didn't okay i have borderline personality disorder i have already called the hospital or called 911 for an ambulance myself when I felt like i wasn't in control of my emotions and i needed more help i have literally gone to the hospital three different times there was once in vaughn um mckenzie hospital or whatever i have paperwork from that i can show people if they don't believe me i can show you guys on instagram or tiktok or i don't know i can go live on here i think i should try going live on here one time anyways there's two other times i went to the hospital i think there's a few other times there's because there was one time when my son was sick and i think there was two other times i went to the hospital that's here Anyways, so I did not want her calling an ambulance. I'll admit I was being aggressive. I'll admit this. I was being aggressive. I was wrong. I was heated. And I was pushing the phone, trying to push the phone away from her face to try to, like, hang. I did talk to them first. I said, I don't want her calling. God, I don't need an ambulance. And then I gave her the phone back. And I kept telling her to hang up the phone, hang up the phone. Because I didn't want an ambulance. I'm like, I don't need an ambulance right now. I need you to hear me out. I need you to listen to what I'm saying. I need your help. Like, I have no other help. My sister has way too much anxiety. She has way too much anxiety. So she she can't deal with this. She can't deal with this. She couldn't even deal with the, even taking him when he was like a baby. She couldn't deal with helping me with that. My dad and my stepmom, well, like, we're okay, we're on good terms, but my dad and I have had problems all our life, like, to make a long story short, he has tried to hit me twice on our way to court, I was younger when I got into trouble and blah blah blah, but he had openly admitted trying to hit me, he tries to dominate every situation by just forcing, like, if you're not ready to talk, he forces himself into the situation to make you talk about it, so, I don't know, I guess he's, he's put his distance between me and my sister and me and my son and I'm like well it's not my job to chase you around and make you be involved in my son's life like it's just not my job blah 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 so anyways um basically so this whole fight kind of happened between me and my mom and then um I came downstairs into my room okay I'm not gonna explain this whole story actually because you can go see the other YouTube video. I'm pretty sure I made that video explaining more about what happened in that whole situation. Um, and just someone with BPD, when I went to the hospital, putting them in an all-white room for six hours, just is it's the worst thing you can do. They just left me there to be in my thoughts, to think about everything that I'm going through, panic more, being like, what's going on with my son? Are they trying to take my son away because my mom called Child Protective Services on me? Like, did I really do something wrong? Like, honestly, my mom now has, has made me, I'm trying so hard not to cry. My mom has made me so scared to talk about anything that's bothering me 
to her because I'm scared she's just going to call Child Protective Services and be like, oh, she's just being a crazy person. Oh, my God, her son is in danger. He's in harm's way. My son is not in harm's way. I would never physically hurt my son. I love him to death. Like, there's, again, there's so many little, little details that I want to say because of my anxiety. And I, I'm, I don't want to keep doing that. I want to finish everything. So... Anyway, so yeah, please go watch this other YouTube video. If I haven't made it yet, please let me know. Um, there's definitely a TikTok video, though. Please go and watch my TikTok video about me ta uh, explaining what happened between me and my mom and this these police officers and them leaving me in handcuffs and all this stupid shit. I've seen other people making TikTok videos about how Canadian healthcare is just fucking really shitty. They don't give a fuck about people that... Like, should be, that are suicidal and should be on suicide watch. There was one person that said that they've been on suicide watch once in their life. And there's been many, many times where they were suicidal. It's just stupid nonsense that I could keep going on and on and on and on about. So, the relationship between me and my mom is toxic. Yes, it is. I'm not saying, oh, it's all her fault. It's all her fault. It's, it is my fault, too. It's it's my fault too. I'm I'm losing control of my um, BPD. Like I had good control of my my disorder, and I'm losing control of that. And I'm letting my emotions take over, and I'm letting them spew over. But I'm fighting so hard to be heard, and I'm not being heard. And just like I said, she's always gone. She's always gone. Like right now, she's taking him swimming, and she fed him for me fed him something beforehand because she knows he needs to eat something before he goes swimming obviously so that's the only reason why she did that it's not because she's actually just feeding him for me she took him swimming okay so that's the one thing a week that she does is take him swimming um now that's a new thing that she started doing then is there's the times that i do get to go to my man's house remember this is my way to escape yeah our relationship is a little bit toxic and yeah he's probably kind of a narcissist i mean he is a narcissist i'm no better i'm i'll admit i'm no better i do things that are bad but he's trying he's really trying to be there for me he's trying to care like he's try, he tries so hard i know he does he's buying me flowers to show me that he appreciates me but i haven't asked him to he sends me money so that i can get i can get food because he knows that at the end of the day yeah, I'm so exhausted. Like, I'll admit this. This is partly why I'm asking for the money. Because, yes, I am spending my money on takeout food. Because at the end of the day, after everything I've done for my son, because I'm doing it all by myself, I'm so tired. I'm like, I don't want to stand up there in the kitchen and make food. I don't want to do it. So I either make quick food. I either make quick food. <coughs> Like, fucking breaded shit. Like, the breaded ham and cheese shit. And, like, shrimp. Sometimes I try to make vegetables with it, but that's if I have enough energy to do that. <sighs> Anyways, I either do that or I take get takeout. And I usually get pizza because that's the cheapest thing. And it's the closest. And then I'm not eating healthy. And I'm trying so hard to eat healthy, which is completely hard. Like, assistance doesn't give you money. Assistance doesn't give you... I'm on my period right now. They don't give you money for pads. Nothing gives you money for pads. Nothing gives you money for... Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? For, like, all the extra costs that it really is. Like, my son's still in diapers. He needs clothes consistently. They don't give you money for that. The little bit of money that you get from the government, the, like, $700 or whatever, that's not enough money. That's not enough money. Like, it's not. It's not enough money. I can barely afford, like, I have already paid my mom five fifty in rent. No, it's not a, a lot of rent. It's not a lot of rent. I get that. But, like... She's saying that she needs money from me in order to pay the bills. In order to pay the bills. Um, but she can go to Portugal for two weeks. Like, I don't understand. If I'm the one who's... Like, I don't understand if I was just just on assistance. If I was just on assistance, okay? And um, I didn't have my son. 
then maybe I'd understand a little bit more. But I have my son who is autistic. So why isn't she being like, you know, keep some of your money so that you can eventually move out and get a bigger place for your son? Like, I don't know, I guess, because she, she can't help me. Because she spends all her money on her on her shitload of bikes that are in the garage. Again, go watch my TikTok stories. If it's not in my TikTok stories, ask me. I will show you all the bikes that they have. The two fucking, they gave themselves two new counters. Two new beautiful bathroom counters in the in the spare bedroom, in the spare bathroom and their bathroom. But they got me a fucking random counter. I, I don't know if it was the one from upstairs or if it was one from off the street. It had mold all on the bottom, so they put a fucking stupid thing on top of it to block that like i could just keep going on and on and on and on and on anyways another part of the reason okay to wait i didn't i feel like something is in my eye oh my god i have to use eye drops i don't know if it's gone or not I feel like my eyes are swollen right now. Probably from crying all day today. <sighs> Anyways. um, Where was I? I didn't link up the stories. Okay. So if you actually scroll down on my TikTok. You will see. I started doing some like therapy shopping. Like therapy videos of me having a nice bath. With some Epsom salts that I got from Dollarama. And all that. And then you'll see the time where I had the the episode the bpd episode okay and then right after that pretty well it start i started getting into shopping like crazy because i was emotionally damaged by what my mom was doing i have no way to escape because i'm so tired from everything i'm doing taking care of my son he gets into everything i have to clean up after him i have to like feed him a bunch of times during the day give him a bottle give him juice change his diaper um how many times do they leave bottles on the edge of the counter? And I've said, don't leave bottles at the edge of Because the they go biking so many times. And then they leave their bottles full of water on the edge of the counter. And he's obsessed with water. So he grabs the bottle and he drinks the water. And then he spits it out and he dumps it all over his onesie. And I'm like, I just fucking changed him. I just changed him. And a lot of the times I'm like, that's the last onesie he has right now. I don't have any other clean onesies. Like, so I'm so frustrated with them doing that. I'm like, please stop leaving your bottles at the edge of the fucking counter. He's getting soaking wet. Oh my goodness. So anyways, yeah. My mom, just the shit that's going on is, I don't know if it's really her fault. Some of it's kind of her fault. Some of it's not her fault. I know she's not doing it on purpose. Some of it is like I guess she's getting older some of it I feel like yeah she's partly greedy she's partly just greedy and she wants to be able to go biking go biking go biking I'm like it must be nice to just go away all the time go away all the time I'm like I wish I had that luxury again I get it I'm the one who has a son but I didn't know that the fucking my baby dad was gonna fuck off completely he was the nice guy I was a girl that finally gave the nice guy a chance <laughs> look where that ended up that's the TikTok video I want, literally want to make. As all these guys out there being like, well, stop t it's dating the bad guys and give the nice guy a chance. Yeah, well, the nice guy is the one who fucking got me pregnant and fucked me around and left me with his kid to take care of it. Now he's autistic. Well, I mean, he always was autistic from when he was born. But I mean, the fuck? Like, really? Really? Okay. Right. So it's, it's not about the guys that we choose. We don't choose these guys to do this to us. It just happens. These are these people. They show their true colors. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people that are like that out in the world. There are so many fucking people out there that are like this in the world. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know where I, where I ended this, really. Because I just keep... There's just so much I could fucking say. Um... Anyways, one of the other things I want to say, the reason why I made a GoFundMe as, as well um, is because, sorry, I'm like, what's going on outside? I think it's like raining. Um, because also I'm like, I, yeah, I want to get more into makeup, into cosplay. That's what I've been trying to do. That's what I've been shopping for. That's um, what you've seen me with the Ipsy Glam Bags that I've been getting every month. Or if I get some makeup stuff from 
at uh, Winners and stuff like that. I have a big box from Ipsy right now. Just because of something that I ordered was kind of big. That's why. It's not like I spent a shitload of money. I think I spent maybe $25. And that was last month. Like, um... Probably almost six weeks ago. Because technically the package got to me late. Um, but that is... And, okay, so I also got some Scooby-Doo makeup. That's going to be a TikTok video that I'm going to share as well. This is me trying to make a career for myself. I'm trying to make a career. I'm trying to... Yes, I'm I'm a dancer. Yes, I am a dancer. Or I was a dancer. Or still... I don't know. I, I In and out. I In and out of dancing, basically. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to change my career. And I want to do makeup. And I want to get, do, get into that professionally. So yeah, maybe I was hoping that if people see my GoFundMe and they're like seeing my makeup and they like my makeup and how good it is, maybe they want to help me invest in my career and help me, you know, get my career started. Like, that's another reason why, why I'm making this GoFundMe is maybe people are like, oh, her makeup's good. I want to invest in her career and help her out and help her be able to make more TikTok videos and cosplay videos and, like, get her name out there and get her work out there because she's doing a really good job. Like, yeah, that's... Yes, I am resorting to TikTok for views. Yes, I am. For doing that, for doing my makeup and stuff, yes, I am. Because I don't know how else to do it. I don't know how else to go about it. I don't have any help from at home. I don't have anyone guiding me at home. All of my family are all, like, they're all pretty much, like, I don't have much family. And everyone is, our relationships are all fucked. Our relationships are all fucked. My grandmother's a Christian, and so that's a fucking crazy shit show. Uh... One thing I'm going to say about my grandmother, I've tried to talk to her about my disorder, like, coming at her sometimes, and I'm like, I'm sorry, it's my disorder. Well, I have a disorder, too, is what she said, like, just so many things. Anyways, I have all these cosplays that I'm trying to do that are underneath my bed. I have a Morticia Adams that I want to do. I have Rapunzel that I want to do. There's an, a bunny costume I want to do. There is a Hooters one I want to do, and I'm going to try and get back to... My makeup and stuff. I'm still going to be talking about my journey with my son. With his autism. And hoping to get help. And just talking about my struggles. But I'm just going to try and stay away from fighting with people. And just making replies. Or just going about my life. Talking more and explaining more. And not actually arguing with people. Because that's a waste of my time. And a waste of my energy. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to try and focus more on that. So, if you see me posting these videos of all my, like, I have these nails, these ones, and, okay, so, yes, I did spend a bit of money on Spencer's. There's a few that I have, oh, not Spencer's, uh, Spirit Halloween. There's a few pairs that I have from Spirit Halloween. That was a little while ago in, in yeah, October, like, the very beginning of October. And, yes, I spent some money in Spirit Halloween that I shouldn't have. But I was trying to invest in my makeup career. But I never have any time to even get to doing my makeup. Getting to have a shower. Getting to eat. Having to do my makeup and all that. Because I'm so busy with my son. And no one's here to help me. No one's here to be like, here, let me watch your son for you. Yes, partly paying for a babysitter is fucking expensive. So, partly having... This help in my GoFundMe would be going towards maybe paying a babysitter so that I, or paying someone so that I could focus on doing all my makeup and stuff like that. And getting these cosplays done and promoting my makeup and cosplays more and, you know, getting myself out there more and trying to make a career of myself. I don't have time to even do my makeup to go to work anymore. Like, yes, I was a dancer. Yes, I posted a TikTok video of me making $400 in like four hours. That was when I was trying to work and still doing all of this. Now I'm getting to in, into all these appointments and programs and stuff that I'm going to have to take my son to. And just like I said, taking him to get blood work done. Taking him to go see this pediatrician. My mom's never home. So that's again why I want the money or I want help. So that I can sometimes take an Uber when she's not around to help me. And I have to take the bus. I don't mind taking the buses once in a while. But it also would be nice to know that, oh, it's a really, really rainy day. Or, oh, it's a really windy day. Which is what happened to me when she was gone away. I had to get to the freaking 
pediatricians, which takes three buses. It's super windy. My son does not keep his mittens on. He does not keep his shoes on. He does not keep his socks on. So I have to consistently cover his hands with a blanket, cover his feet, put his shoes back on, put extra socks on so that he stays warm, which is a fucking hassle and a half. It's so stressful. Then I'm sitting there fighting in the wind. You can see this in my TikTok video. It's posted, I think, in the most recent TikTok video of my journey with my son in his autism. Our journey with my son, I should say, because it's mine and his journey. Um, and so, yeah, it would be really nice that in the times where it's like this, where it's going to get winter. And she's probably still going to be fucking going away. She's going to be working in December, apparently, because people are still biking in December. I guess because there's not as much snow anymore, right? So people are going to be biking in December. So she's going to be working in December. Thank goodness I don't have any point in the, actually, appointments in December. Actually, my next one isn't until February. So that's okay. But, like, it's still not the point. The point is she's never really around to take me to any of these appointments. She says, she, I've said to her, do you want me to give my son up for adoption? She's like, oh, I'll take over and I'll watch him. When? You're too busy going on trips. Are you going to be the one to go and take him and get his blood work done? No, you're not. I'm the one who went and took him. And then she says to me, you went and got his blood work done? Yeah, bitch. I wasn't fucking waiting for you. Good thing I went and did that when I went to see the pediatrician next. I made it a point to get that blood work done before I went to see the pediatrician again so that we could get a move on and more stuff he needs to get done. I'm not waiting for my mom's help. Because if I do, I'm going to slack in everything and nothing's going to get done. But right now, I kind of like... There's information that I need her help on. And she's choosing to go biking today. Because that's more important. And if I say to her, why do you choose to go biking? Why don't you sit down and help me? Oh, like, that's more important. Like, oh, I, I get to choose to go biking, you know? I'll sit down with you when I have time. So, going biking is more important. That's literally what she's showing me. She is showing me that going biking is more important than sitting down and helping me with my son and getting him into these programs. He needs to be into these programs right away. And then she blames me. Like, she nags me, being like, why are you getting him into these programs? Why aren't you doing... Because I have no help. I have no help. Like, oh my goodness. So, yeah. It would be really nice if that when my mom has gone away... I don't have to spend the fucking bare, bare amount of money that I do get from fucking assistance and shit like that. Like, it'd be nice to help be able to boost up my career so that I can get off assistance and then not feel, like, guilty because I'm doing this and then being like, you're asking for money and you're on assistance? What's wrong with you? Like, I need help. That's what's wrong. I need help. I can't get out of the spot I'm stuck in. Yes, I was resorting to shopping because I'm just depressed and I have major anxiety and I'm stressed out and I'm like, I need help and I'm resorting to the wrong answers. I know that. I'm trying to stop shopping. And if I do feel like shopping, I'm trying to limit myself to like $50. Like right now, I do need, I don't need pants. But all I have is track pants. I have a bunch of track pants. I have one pair of jeans. Um, and I just feel like a hobo. I feel like a hobo. I don't want to, I, I don't care about going out and feeling sexy. I just go, I, I care about going out and, and feeling good about myself, feeling confident about myself, feeling like, yeah, I'm a mother who's got myself somewhat put together. Not, oh my god, I'm a mother who's got like, my hair's a fucking mess. I haven't showered. I haven't eaten. Um, I'm sweating like crazy. I look like a hobo. Because my hair's up in a bun. I've got fucking a t-shirt on and some fucking track pants on. Yeah, so yes, I'm I'm going to take $50 out of the money that I get from my son. Um, and I'm going to take maybe $50 and go to Winners and maybe buy like two pairs of jeans for myself. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Just so I, I can start something and I'm going to work small. But, it, but yeah, but it would be really nice if someone was like, yeah, you know what? She does deserve to be able to do that once in a while. And most mothers or some kind men will understand what I'm going through. There's people that obviously are going to fucking say mean shit and be like, oh, you just want the money so you can go shopping. Or you're just using your son's autistic, being autistic as excuse to get money. It's not about that. I'm already at 34 minutes. I've been going on and on and on and on and on. I don't even know what I got to explain in the first video. I probably pretty much forget what I explained all in the beginning of this video. So again, if there's things that I didn't talk about, 
didn't um, mention, please let me know because not only does my BPD affect my whole entire life, like all the way down to the way I take a piss, like the fucking TikTok video I made, but it's the same thing with my son. His, him being autistic literally affects me and him all the way down to the way I take a piss, to the way he takes a piss, literally every single fucking thing, everything. So stop overlooking it. Stop making it seem like it's so simple. Stop belittling me. Yes, I have said in TikTok videos being like, do I not deserve the opportunity to have $30 to myself to go and get a pedicure? So, or, go and, or go and get a foot massage? Not, not because I'm like, I just want a foot massage and I want a, med- I want a pedicure. So that I can feel like my job isn't just being a mom. I feel like my only purpose in this whole entire world is being a mother. Maybe that's what I should do, right? I should just sit at home and only be a mom. No. Like, why am I not allowed to enjoy myself, to de-stress a little bit? Yes, going to get a massage once in a while will stop my feet from hurting so much, which will stop making me so stressed out, which will make me be able to do more with my son. Like, taking him outside and, and taking him to the park to play. I didn't, barely had time with that during the freaking fall, and now that it's like it's getting winter out, I have nowhere to take him. So yes, I went to the mall the other day. I bought one thing, which was fourteen dollars. Um, I technically had American money, so I exchanged it into Canadian money. It was fourteen dollars American, eighteen dollars Canadian, and I was able to buy myself just a pink cute Christmas sweater. That's it. Just to make myself feel a little bit better. I did look around in a few different places. I didn't really... I didn't buy much. Um, some really good things happen, actually. You can go and see that TikTok video if I posted it already. I have a few TikTok videos that I still need to post. I could go on... Like I said, I could go on and on and on. I'm just asking for the help. Because... My son is, I feel like he's in an unsafe environment here. I am in a stressful, unhealthy environment here for myself. Both of us are in an um, unhealthy environment, me and my son. It is too small for my son. It is too small for me. There is not enough room for all my stuff. There's so much laundry piled up, and I don't really have anywhere to actually put it because it's such a small apartment. Um... Yes, I, I'm hoping that maybe some people will help me out with my um, my makeup career and my cosplay co- career. Maybe some people will be like, yeah, here's $50 so you can go and invest in some proper makeup from Sephora or whatever. This is just a kind gift. This is just a kind gift. I'm not being like, poor me, poor pitiful me. Like, not completely. Not completely. I'm not being like, I can't afford food, and I can't afford clothing, and I can't afford my rent. Like, no, I can I can afford that bare minimum things. That I can afford. But I, I can't afford to pay anyone to get help to work on my career. I can't afford to go and do a few tiny little luxury things once in a while for myself. I can barely afford to go and, like, what if I wanted to, like... You know, my son goes to bed at 8. You know, you know how nice it would be to be able to afford once in a while to just treat myself to Montana's across the road. Just have a nice little dinner, maybe a few drinks and come home and go to bed. Instead of having to make fucking food after the exhausting day I've had, like, doing everything I've done with my son. Because nobody is helping me. My, mo- my mom isn't being like, here, let me, like, sh-. I was hoping that when I, my son was born that and his father wasn't in the picture that, you know, maybe she would step in as kind of like not the dad figure, but an extra parent, maybe even 25, 25%, I'll say. I think she does maybe 15, 18%. Uh, Okay, I'll give her a little bit more credit that. Maybe she does like 25%, like maybe 50%. Maybe 50% is too much. I'm not asking for 100%. I don't know. I don't know what to... I don't know. Because, right, I can't ask. I can't ask her only for help. But who else do I ask? My boyfriend is working a lot of the time. He works late hours. And he has his own daughter and his own shit that he has to worry about. So don't even ask me about my boyfriend and him paying. We're trying to move in together. Also, that's a bit of a toxic relationship. So I'm like, maybe it'd be nice to have this money to fall upon. In case, you know, I couldn't live with him. But he's the only one really trying to help me. 
as much as he can. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm trying to work with him as much as I can. We're trying to work this out so that we're both happy. And he is trying to fend for me. And, like, he's trying to listen to me. Um... Anyway, so yeah, we're hoping that we can move in together. But that would that would also be a help so that we could afford a place for me and him and my son and his daughter as well. Because I don't know how it's going to go for them two sharing a room. Is that even going to go well? I mean, no, he only has her on the weekends. But, like, it would be nice for her to have her own room too. But that's besides the point. I'm not asking for this help for really to do with him and his daughter like that shit's on kind of his end but we are a couple so like obviously you know we we talk about things and like kind of share things but this stuff is this is me on my own this is something i'm trying to do on my own because if i have to live on my own and not live with him if i have to leave him you know i want to be able to have something to fall back upon like yes it'd be nice to have again this help so that when i do get the other help from governments or whatever um then i can st i can pay for my the apartment that i'm because someone said to me well you won't be able to afford anything if you get a bigger place you can't afford it now yes i get that that's why i want the help for um quite a bit of money so that i'm covered for a few months um and then i can focus on getting my son into all these programs getting everything that he needs getting set up and then I can go to work once in a while and I can make this money or I am making, you know, some money for my makeup career. Oh my God. There was one other thing that I wanted to mention and I can't think of it, but this is almost a 45 minute video and I just want to stop talking about this. So, um, please, if you have questions, please comment below, message me on social media. I have Instagram makeup by Melody Lynn. I have TikTok. I think that's makeup by Melody Lynn as well. Um, <clears throat> my Facebook and another Instagram of mine are personal, so don't add me on Facebook. I will not accept. Do not add me on my Melody Lynn account. I will not accept. My makeup by Melody account, I will accept you, so please add me on that. Again, you can add me on um, Snapchat. I'm on Snapchat. I think my Snapchat is Mel69Lynn. You can add me on Twitter. Yes, I was working in the the SW sex worker industry. <clears throat> yes, I do have an OnlyFans. No, I'm not making a lot of money from that. I I barely make a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars a month from that. Maybe if I'm lucky, I make that much money. So yeah, if you want to support me in that way, go and subscribe to me there instead. Or this is just another way for people to, if they want to help me out, because some people don't want to subscribe to that. And this I can promote on, on, um, on TikTok. I can promote the, the GoFundMe on TikTok. Um, um, OnlyFans, I can't really promote on TikTok. Like, anyways, again, I can just go back and forth. But please follow me on social media. Please follow me on TikTok. Please follow me on Instagram. Um... Please subscribe and like this video. Please ask questions. Don't make rude um, assumptions for my stupid videos from, from before. Yes, I know I was shopping. Again, don't judge a book by its cover. Stop thinking I lived a life of luxury. Because what was going on behind the scenes wasn't a life actually of luxury. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done for now. If you guys want me to make a part three, let me know. But um, thank you so much for listening and have a great day or a great night, depending on where you're from. Thank you ahead if you do help me out a little bit um, or just send some kind words or some have some help, advice or anything. Um, yeah, thanks again.